later playlist on YouTube looks like this when you come back from a trip. I'm so excited to catch up with all of those videos. Yay! Good morning everybody and welcome to my study abroad move-in vlog. So I'm so excited to be filming this vlog today because this is my first day in my new apartment here in Aberdeen for my fourth year of studying abroad in Scotland. Yeah, I just thought I would take you guys along and show you guys all of the things that I do to get my life together when I first come to my study abroad destination because I know that it's super overwhelming when you come to a new place and there are so many things to do, groceries to get, things to buy, things to organize, everything. So yeah, I just want to share with you uh, what I do today because there is a lot that has to be done. So if you guys enjoy those kinds of productive, get your shit together vlogs, then give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. And yeah, let's get started with the vlog. So I arrived in Aberdeen yesterday at 5 p.m. That's when my like flight landed. And then I was here in my flat at like, mm, like 6.30. And then I just did the documents with my landlord. I paid my deposit, made some um, dinner for myself. And I went to sleep. I went to sleep really early, maybe at like 10 p.m. And now I woke up at 7.30 a.m. And now it's 8.15 a.m. So quite early in the morning, which I'm really excited about. So the first thing on my list is to actually create a list. So if you guys don't know, I am absolutely obsessed with creating to-do lists. Okay, so this is how my to-do list is looking like now. So what I have is I have like a broad like general to-do list of the things I just want to get done over the next few days and weeks that aren't that urgent. Then I have a to-do list for what I want to do today. So I have different sections. So first of all, I have sections. Section one is domestic princess. So that's just getting groceries and also figuring out how to get like a compost bin to um, separate my trash basically then a few flat things so I have to get um, pillows and sheets from Primark I have to get tea towels and I also have to look in the kitchen if there are cups so I will actually look in the kitchen what I already have of like um, household stuff because there's already a lot of stuff there there and then the rest I'm just gonna buy and then I want to film a flat tour for you guys in this vlog so I just wrote it down so I don't forget it and then I have to get a bus pass I have to um, put my new sim card in my gift gaff one I have to order some stuff from Amazon and then I want to do some stuff for my YouTube so I have to figure something out with AdSense and I have to edit and upload my Poland vlog so that that is done and yeah then also for like the afternoon evening I have a few self-care activities wow and something I totally forgot is to <laughs> unpack yeah obviously I also have to unpack my my stuff, which is over there. So I still have to unpack that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and shop some groceries now. I think I'm gonna go to Lidl because it's only 10 minutes walk from here. 
and they have really good groceries so I'm gonna go I don't think I'm gonna take my vlog camera because I'm gonna be you know busy carrying all the stuff but I'm 100% gonna share with you what I get when I come back home rituals like whenever I come back here is I listen to Harry Potter so I'm currently listening to Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and I'm on Audible to walk through like the streets with all of the typical you know Scottish houses and I don't know whenever I come to Scotland I just feel like I'm living my Harry Potter reality I don't really know and so anyway I'm gonna unpack my groceries and show you what I got I went to Lidl and the whole groceries cost 22 pounds so I obviously do try to stay in budget which is also why I can't always buy organic food from you know more sustainable shops I guess however what I try to do and I think you guys can do that as well is I try if I buy things to buy them with less packaging and um, so that's kind of a priority which I try to do obviously it doesn't <laughs> always work you know try to be as sustainable as I can within a budget so let me show you guys what I got I'm gonna start here so I got some of those laundry um, like capsules which I don't know if you I've been using those since first year and I just love the convenience of it yeah, you could just throw one of those into the washer and it's like done right then I got a uh, sugar snaps which oh my gosh I love those things to have like as a snack they are so delicious I got some dark chocolate then I got myself some flowers which I might put in my bedroom or maybe here I don't know I feel like flowers make such a big difference then I got some condiments so I got some garlic which is just an essential because I love garlic I got some cinnamon I got some sea salt then I got some bagels which I can have with the avocado and some salt for breakfast or even lunch or dinner like I feel like you can have that all the time then I got some ketchup because I'm obsessed with ketchup I got some um, bars because I love taking those to university then I got three sweet potatoes because I love making sweet potato fries or just anything with sweet potato like you can make so much with sweet potato it's just so delicious um, avocados I showed you three apples for my porridge because I love making porridge in the morning that's just like my university meal right I always make it because morning when it's like cold and you just have like a nice bowl of porridge so I also got some porridge oats and this is such a budget breakfast because kilograms of oats which lasts you like maybe two months or something it lasts you forever costs one pound and also apples are super cheap and then I just got some peanut butter to put into my oats and then also the cinnamon like it's so cheap to make yourself some porridge then I got some bin bags I tried not to get bin bags but I just have this huge bin here and um, my friend actually makes bin bags from newspaper which I think is so cool however I don't get newspaper here it has a really like it's a round shape so I just got bin bags which obviously isn't the most sustainable and um, then I got some hot chocolate because in the evening I just love to have a cup of hot chocolate or even like in the morning it really depends then I just got some bananas as I said as a snack or also I love to put some bananas on like bagels my favorite thing then I got a little treat so I got myself some garlic baguette oh my gosh like this stuff with some ketchup this is like my life I love this and then I got some blueberries as a snack and also to put on my um, oats if I want to and then I got some microfiber cloths 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 <laughs> so I wanted to get kitchen wrap but I'm again trying to be more sustainable so yeah that is kind of my grocery shop this is obviously just basics those kinds of things like those staples they um, obviously last a lot longer um, so yeah I'm gonna get some more things later in the city but that's it for now just looked outside my window and I spotted a cat it's, isn't it so Scottish I love it and I have like nice greens 
Oh, I love my flat so much. I'm gonna share it with you um, later, so definitely keep watching. gift gap some card which I still have from second year and I will um, buy like a package for this month when you buy um, like a sim card for your phone make sure that you are um, reading properly how everything works and that you can cancel it every month if you don't really need it. Like I won't need it for a whole year. So with GiveGaff you can buy different packages every single month depending on your need basically. Okay, I just realized that I can't use my gift gaff sim because it's like deactivated when you don't use it for um, more than six months, which I have not used that. <laughs> so I, when I'm gonna head to town later, I'm just gonna get a new sim card. Okay, so this is my first breakfast or early lunch or let's just call it brunch, right? Because we love brunch in my flat. So I just have a bagel with some avocado and salt and then a plain bagel, which I will dip in my hot chocolate. I'm so excited and I'm gonna walk. It's a very Harry Potter Halloween decorate with me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna watch this and it's gonna be good. This idea earlier this year. Mm, oh my god, what I also wanted to share. I got this cute little oh my god, coaster. Coaster it's called from um Wroclaw in Poland where I was last week. If you haven't watched the vlog, you should make sure you do so. I will link it here. Cutest coaster ever. Now whenever I have my hot chocolate or my coffee. I remind myself of this beautiful week that I had. So I'm gonna go into the city center now. Yeah, it's actually really nice weather outside. I can show you guys the view from my bedroom. Just nature and sun and... Yeah, I'm gonna go into city center now. I'm so excited to see Everdeen again. And my hair is a bit, it's really oily actually. It's not that, not that delicious. <laughs> So I'm back home from the city. I'm like laying in my bed. Yeah, I just walked around. I got a lot of cool stuff, which I'm gonna share with you later. What I also ended up getting the yoga mat and my favorite incense. I also got a vacuum cleaner because my flat actually doesn't have a vacuum cleaner, so I got a vacuum cleaner. I got a French press, which I'm so excited, and I really want to get um, coffee from my favorite coffee shop here in Aberdeen, and I can, oh my god, so excited. And then I got a milk frother, frother. <laughs> and yeah, now I'm just watching some YouTube, um, Natalie Barbu, I love her, and I'm snacking on some uh, sweet pea thingies, blueberries and nuts, because I'm quite hungry, but I don't want to make any food. Because I'm too lazy, so I'm just snacking. I'm still in bed, <laughs> but I was productive. In the meantime, I finished editing my Poland vlog, which is exporting right now. So I can take that off my to-do list. Okay, I just wanted to show this to you now because I'm going to use it now for showering. I got 
I got a shampoo bar from Lush. They last forever. Like this is literally gonna last me until Christmas. I'm excited to use it now in the shower. So I was able to finish all my tasks for today. 6.30 p.m. And I thought I want to share with you my apartment. So what I have decorated so far. Not really a lot. But yeah, I just want to share it with you guys. Because I love it very much. It's my first time living by myself. I couldn't be happier. Beautiful flat it has a beautiful size it's super quiet which was the number one factor for me like I have such a light sleep and I grew up on the countryside so I literally cannot stand city noise or noisy neighbors let me share the flat with you guys first come in here so you have this hallway then when you turn to your left here is the bathroom which is really nice. And I really like the floors as well in this flat. And then over at the second room on the left side, <laughs> it's my living room, which it does look a bit messy because I have like my washing hanging here. But anyway, here is a sofa. Probably one of my favorite parts of the whole apartment is this table here. Looking outside into the green with this gorgeous window. It's beautiful light here. This is gonna be my workstation. So here is where I'm gonna do my editing, my editing for clients, client work, uni work, and I think I'm also gonna film here. But anyway, I got some flowers today, so I put them here. Then I have my tarot card, my crystal, and then this candle, which I got from TK Maxx. It says Namaste, so I just, I really just had to get it. It's jasmine and chai. Then I have this little um, stand here for my incense, so excited when I come in. And then over here I have uh, all my journals and my external drive, pens. And yeah, this is my view for working, which I love very much. Then over here we have my kitchen which is so lovely. Sweet potato fries and I have now figured out how to use the oven. It took me a while. Then I also got a candle for my kitchen which is, oh you can't see it, it's too dark. <laughs> it's caramel pumpkin and it's also from TK Maxx. It smells so good. All the stuff that I bought today. This is my bedroom which I love 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 this bed it's so comfortable you guys you don't even know so today i got this blanket from primark i just love to cozy up in a blanket and a big wardrobe chest of drawers is that the word i don't know so yeah and what i love most besides the bed is again the gorgeous view so when i wake up i see nature i see trees which is so important to me and so i hear like the wind and the leaves and when it's gonna rain i'm just gonna hear that and as i said it's super quiet which is important to me because i want to open my window at night um so yeah that is my um, bedroom and i love it a lot okay everyone thank you so so much for watching this video. I had so much fun taking you guys along my first day here in Aberdeen, moving back to study abroad. I just really, really love this flat. I'm really happy here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am gonna vlog a lot, a lot, a lot more. You guys have so many amazing vlogs planned for you. So if you're excited, comment down below. And yeah, thanks so, so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!